Hi, well, I just wanted to do a, a short video on um, on doing EP fibers. Uh, I see a lot of people still struggle with this, um, and it's really, really easy to use once you know how, obviously. Okay, what I've done, I've got a 6 ESOX1 hook here. Um, I've already put the mono thread on there, and I'm just going to put a little bit of varnish on there, like so. Okay, I'm going to take a full length chartreuse EP fiber, and you can see. I'm using hardly any thickness on that whatsoever. You can see through that. Okay, take the, the EP fiber and just hold it in the middle and then just tease out the ends a little bit, like so. And then place what's going to be your longest towel piece, place that on there and do a couple of wraps around like so. Now take the, the forward piece and split it in two and fold it on each side of the hook there and just tease it up into the main bunch and put a couple of wraps around that just to hold that and then bring your thread all the way forward. Okay now we've done that just a wee bit of varnish just on there to make that tooth proof. Okay, so we take another piece of EP, and again, it's hardly any material in there at all. The, the thing is with this, less is, is better with this, and it's often said less is more, well that's pretty much correct, and you get a better movement of fly in the water by using less. And of course you get more flies out of the pack as well, so it's good value. Okay, so again, same thing what we've got there we're just going to use hold that about halfway and we've teased the ends out just place that on top just there and we'll go a couple of wraps around like so then what we do we're going to split that over the hook and split it each side of the hook and tease it through Let me assure you, it doesn't wrap up on the cast around the hook. If you do it this way, honestly, it doesn't wrap. You get a lovely free-flowing movement of that. Okay, so we'll get a little bit more varnish on there. Again, just to make that tooth-proof, because we're using mono time thread. Okay, that's looking good. See, there's hardly anything, there's hardly anything on there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is bring that thread up a little bit and I'm going to get some uh, ice wing. Um, this one's fibre peacock green. So we'll just take a clump of that and this is going to add, add your flush to it. So we're just going to lay that halfway right on there and a couple of wraps around and fold that under. and tease it up into the back and give it a little twist tie that down like so okay and we'll take some more of the chartreuse again I don't know if you can see that but there's hardly any there whatsoever and again we're going to tease the ends out Hold it in the middle and place it just slightly shorter this time on the top. You see my thumb and forefinger just ed edging it around the hook a little bit. Okay, that's looking that's looking good. That's looking really good. Okay, so with the top piece here now, we're just going to fold that back, and as you can see, the longer piece there goes further. Than the piece underneath, which is shorter, this will give you a nice, a nice profile. So, okay. So, what we're going to do now? We're going to take another piece. So, we are doing two colours here, but you'll see where the second colour comes in shortly. Okay. Now, just a little bit thicker this time, and I'm going to fold that in half. Cut that lay one piece to the side and again tease that out a little 
Okay. So that's teased out nicely. So as you can see there, the longest piece is on the bottom. So we put that on there, right behind the last piece you tied in, like so. Now what we're going to do here is push it down, fold it underneath. And again it creates that tapered body look. Pretty good. Okay, and we've got one more piece, so we just taper that a little bit. And what we're looking for is the the longest piece to be at the bottom, so we can continue with that nice taper. We do a little thicker, so it just gets a little bit thicker in the head area there. And honestly, this in the water is a fantastic looking fly. Great movement. This one here, obviously, I'm um, being a pred head. It's um, going to be for pike. This will, this will work for muskies as well. Um, pretty much any predatory fish, I think. Okay. So there we've got pretty much the body done. And I mean, that actually looks quite a thick fly, but it's not. There's hardly any material in that at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do is grab one more piece of chartreuse. And again, I'm going to cut that in half and taper it just by pulling the edges like so. And I'm going to place it on top. And fold that underneath, like so. You see we're getting quite near to the hook eye now. That's looking good. Okay. And again, your piece that you put to one side. And the longest piece on the bottom there is facing out. On like so and fold over like so Get a few good tight wraps down that's looking good you've still got that flush shining through there okay what we'll do now is we'll put a bit of varnish on there seal it all in protect against teeth okay what we're going to do now is we're going to go for the back color which is um, this one's EP um, golden olive 3D so it's basically just two kinds of green mixed together really so again we we'll take a thin piece of this and tease it out to make sure you get that profile on the back and same thing we place it on the back there the whole length of the fly and we just tie that down like so we'll leave that like that and we'll take another piece like so, and we'll taper the ends, just pull them gently till you get an uneven edge, and that gives you a beautiful taper. Okay, this one's going to be slightly shorter. And on it goes, and then we're going to bring the thread all the way down to the hook, to the hook eye. Okay, so the longest piece, we're going to Pull back and tie in there and then back down to the hook eye and bring that round and tie all that in. There we go. Give me a nice little nose there. And tie that off. So now I'll take a lighter and I just touch the end of this just like this. Now what this does, it transfers heat down the hook and my fingers there I can feel that heat and what that's going to do 
they seal the EP fibers to the hook. Okay. So what we need now is a couple of eyes. And I'm going with a couple of um, 12 millimeter eyes. Get some glue. Okay. So I'm going to use uh, crock glue. And the thing is with this, what you've got to remember, it crock glue expands quite a bit. So I'm just going to just do this off camera because I need to lean. Just put a. Okay, now if you can see that, not too much on there. Once you put the eyes on, you can take a marker pen to this and draw whatever you like on it really. Stripes or spots or just leave it plain. I like to leave these ones plain. Okay, make sure we get enough glue on there. Just make sure you cover the whole eye. And that's going on there. Okay. And the last thing, I think I might be running out of time on the video, is some Deer Creek Tack Free UV. Just place it around the head there. And take a torch. Just make sure it's all even. Give it a blast. And there you have. And get out of the vice. A pretty nifty. EP bait fish. But I'm going to give you a little clue, um, sorry, a little tip here. What you can do with the eyes, take a take a clothes peg, place it on the eyes like that until the glue's dry, and that'll hold them in place. Just like that. Hope that was useful. Thanks.